Hello, this is uh, Patrick Faith. I'm going over uh, some of my uh, recent uh, studio objects. This is the uh, color board. Drop it on the floor and just press your button against the board. And it's a cycle. It never starts, never stops. It's kind of a mental thing. Um, if you don't have enough print, because you don't have a, a lot of land um, prim use on your land, Attach the uh, object to your to your hip or some place like that, and uh, you won't need uh, any prims. It's not um, very heavy as far as uh, rendering load either, and you could just draw wherever you want as long as you have script rights. I'm gonna uh, just unattach it when you're uh, done. I'm gonna go also to the uh, a second object that you get as a gift when you go to the color studio. And it's a uh, older uh, single layer painting I have. I'm going to press my mouse button on uh, the face and go down the uh, contour of the body. And you're seeing um, in perspective the uh, the inks pull out of the uh, painting, and you're seeing it in 3D roll out. If you've resed it in your own uh, sim, uh, you can move things around. Those are temporary objects which will be automatically uh, deleted so you don't have to do any cleanup and it's a fairly low uh, light low that's it's a kind of a weird bird I have in this painting intermixed with this guy with the broom I have no idea what's going on um, again as all I'm doing is I'm pressing on my painting and the, the structure of the painting is coming out and this is kind of how I'm thinking mentally as I'm painting a visualizing it in a similar fashion. Gonna be, um, yeah, that's a, a guy on the side. He's really kind of cool. I, I, I like uh, him. It's kind of hard to see him, but um, I have a lot of fun in my sim, and I'll play around with that if you can. This is a, a more recent painting, a fairly um, complex painting, bifurcation. Just, again, press on the painting, and structure will start develop, developing inside the painting. If you go on the side, you get multi-layers. Then as the transparent objects hit the surface, they'll become solid right here. Again, you can play with it, um, click different areas, and, and sections of the painting will be released. Um, the next is basically just, again, press on the painting. Ink will flow out. It's very similar to how I... Uh, do a large watercolor. This painting in real life is probably about eight feet wide, four feet tall on linen. And you're seeing the uh, kind of how I'm visualizing it, and I'm gonna really soon pop to me um, doing the painting in, in real life. You're seeing kind of how I'm doing the mouse is very similar with my hand, but it's it's a little bit obviously uh, more complex. I am doing this um, to my music. Uh, which you're hearing at the same time in this uh, explanation. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the quick tutorial and make sure you stop by my the Colorful uh, Studio in Second Life or just I Am Me uh, anytime.